this came to me and I wanted to share it while I'm on the train. I think as a whole, women don't respect men. We don't respect you financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically. But you know that ain't, bitch, that ain't in your hell. Bitch, that ain't your waist. Bitch, that ain't your ass. That ain't your titties. Bitch, them ain't your eyes. Them ain't your eyelashes. Bitch, them ain't your nails. <laughs> bitch, who is you? <laughs> bitch, is them even your knees, bitch? <laughs> bitch, is them your knees or them? <laughs> or them somebody else's knees, bitch? The reason you say these things because you are a broken woman. That's all this is. You are a broken woman. Here's what you said. You said, as a whole, I mean, I really, basically what you said didn't make a whole lot of sense anyway, but I'll challenge this. I'll challenge this for you. You said, as a whole, women don't respect men financially, emotionally, spiritually, or physically. But I bet you, I bet you, if something happened on that train and and a man get a hold of you, who you gonna call? You're not gonna call, you're not gonna call this woman. You're not gonna call, you, you, you're not gonna call uh, these women. You're gonna call a man. You say you don't respect men physically. You don't respect men financially. Okay? And it's it's a good possibility that you work for a man who own that business. So you don't respect men financially. You say you don't respect men emotionally. You may not because you're an emotional wreck. And I definitely want you to see this video because both we both know that you are a broken woman. Don't know what happened in your past, but the fact that you can say all of these things and, and finally, spiritually, you said you don't respect men spiritually. I, I, I don't understand that. So, so I just don't understand it. What, uh, uh, what you don't respect pastors? You don't, you don't respect men of God. I mean, what, what, what does that mean? All of these things that you said, you basically said that you don't need a man for nothing when you need a man for everything. You, 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 you sat there on a train and said something like that, and it sounds stupid, lady. It sounds really stupid. I, I, I listened to I listened to that video that you made probably thirty times because I was just I was just trying to I was trying to feel it I was trying to feel it and all these things that you said you don't respect in a man everything on this paper you need a man for you 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 need a man to get to God and I don't mean that in a way that you you actually have to you you actually have to go through a physical man on earth to get to God. You got to go through Jesus to get to God. Okay. So listen, everything that you said on here, is really stupid. It's, it's stupid. And you, you, you do, you said that out of, uh, out of your emotions. And that's what women are emotional creatures. Lady, you need some help. You need to get some therapy. You need to get some therapy. And anybody who think that was okay, what you said to me, this is, this is ridiculous, but that's my two cents on your on your comment. And I will send this to uh, TikTok and I'll be at what, what's your name? Uh, paid sister. So so you so you so you, so you're paid. So you don't need nobody. That's the worst thing you can do. And we talking about spiritually. You, you think just because you're paid, uh, that's going to get you through. Well, I, you know, I mean, ma'am, you you really need some help. I just want to say this <laughs> to every fucking shady ass, cheating, um, narcissistic woman that's out there um, that takes really good guys and turns them into emotionally unavailable men because of the shit that you've done to them. Um, I really, really hope that you get everything that's coming to you. <laughs> All of it. All of it.